out with someone from another country, that's a different energy, right? I was with this woman from Argentina. Some stuff is lost in translation when this happens. You know, like right before we sleep together, she goes, this I would surely regret. And I was like, I wonder what that means. You know, it's <laughs> so interesting to be around other cultures, but. That was a look at the new stand-up special titled Sam Morrill, You've Changed. In it, the New York native recounts his most memorable experiences on public transit, what it's like dating in his 30s, and even his unique thoughts on the presidential election. And Sam joins us now. Sam, I, I just I, I got to start with this quote because it's most relevant. It is it is it is some gallows humor. But on a Trump versus Biden rematch, Trump versus Biden is kind of like a drunk driver versus someone who keeps falling asleep at the wheel. The point is. <laughs> You ain't getting home. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. That was kind of like Grandpa Simpson versus Mr. Burns the other night. That was pretty dark, right? Doesn't make you feel yeah, great about the state of the... It'd be funny if it wasn't happening to our country, but here we are. Right. Yeah, we're here. We're here. So you, uh, you, you have a, a, such a unique look at so many different things. I will say one of the things... One, one of your, your comparisons were guns and babies. Now, this is something... I must admit, I, I, I think some crazy stuff in my head throughout the day, just wandering. I've never put the parallel of guns and babies together, but you do it masterfully. Explain. Yeah, well, both are easy to hate, but then you hold one. And you're like, I kind of get it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Both yeah. annoying on and airplanes? You're, yeah. If you're dating someone you know, new you, and they yeah. have either, you're like, it could be a problem. <laughs> you know? Right. And, and both exactly. will be in a school soon. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Let's take a, a look at that clip from the special where Sam recounts an unsettling experience on the New York City subway. I was on the subway the other day in New York. I accidentally made eye contact with a crazy person. That's a terrible moment. <laughs> As a man, that is the closest you come to feeling like a woman in a bar. <laughs> like, oh no, we locked eyes and now he's coming toward me, which is not what I wanted. He sits next to me on the train, puts his hand on my leg. There's nothing you can say. You can't be like, oh, I don't like that when people do that. I don't feel safe right now. If... So I had to get up, I walk away. I put my hand in the pole. He follows me, puts his hand right above mine. So it's touching. He's just staring at me. Everyone on the train's watching, but they're not watching like they're gonna help. They're watching like, thank God he chose you. That, that could have been a problem. Sam, did you model your comedy act, your stand-up act, after any of the legendary stand-up comedians that we've known down through the years? Or, or is this, in your mind, a new innovation, new generation? I'm going to do my own thing. I mean, you know, when you're starting, I think you're always doing an impression of someone else in, in any form of entertainment. But then as, as you keep going, you, you hopefully become you, I, I would hope, you know? and. Uh, I don't know if you know my comedy. I feel like Al Sharpton would be a Sam Morrell fan. I don't know why. Absolutely. Of I, I mean, you know, I, I remember Justin Bieber got a lot of crap for when he went to Anne Frank's house, and in her book he wrote, I think she would have been a believer. Right. But that's how I feel about Al Sharpton. Well, I, I think, give I think you permission like to stuff. feel that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anne Frank, Al Sharpton, babies, guns, it all gets kind of random. I here. think he'd like the Sam special. Fine. I really do. Oh, I'm going to love the special. I mean, yeah. the second it's on, man, I'm going to Prime Video and watching. No, this is great stuff. I also, I love what you're talking about, the, the consequences. I mean, consequences, we all face certain consequences, but you talk about how the consequences of being drunk changes <laughs> as you get older. Could you educate our audience on exactly what some of those consequences are for you? Well, you know, it's not as bad as when you're, yes. when you're older. I, I, I drink now, I know my limits. When I was young, I would, I would black out and I'd wake up like, what did I say to that girl last night? But now I wake up hungover and I'm like, did I sign up for Paramount Plus last night? It's not that big a deal, <laughs> yeah. you know? It's fine. It's Paramount Plus. But did I always I blame the wrong peacock? stuff. What did I do? Well, I, you know, I, was, exactly. I, was, I had an upset stomach the other day and I told my friend and he was like, uh, I was like, man, it was because of that chicken sandwich I ate. And he goes, I watched you have nine vodkas last night. And I was like, oh yeah, you just forget. <laughs> but like I could wake up in that a dumpster and I'd be like, I shouldn't have had that spinach egg white omelet. That's what did me in, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, the new stand-up special, Sam Morrill, you've changed.
It starts streaming on July 9th on Prime Video, and I guarantee you, Reverend Al and I will <laughs> both be watching. We're going to have a watch party together. Two new so, fans. So thank That's you, right. so. That's right. I was told Mika was going to be here. What happened? I wanted to meet Mika. You can't get everybody. I, yeah. <laughs> two out of three. Yeah. I, yeah. I wanted Willie, too. I got, I got two out of four, though. That's pretty cool. Well, you sound kind of disappointed, Sam. I'm not no, going to lie. But no, I'm no, no, no. I'm very Wherever happy. I go, I show up at places and people are like, it's very good to meet you, Joe. Where's Mika? <laughs> but that means you did well. No, I did very well. Yeah. I did very well. And you did very well, too. And we're going to see how well you did on July the 9th. I know it's going to be a huge hit. Thank you so much for being Thanks with for us. Me. Greatly appreciate it. All right, and that does it for us this morning. Thank you guys so much for watching. Richard Louie picks up the coverage in 30 seconds.